Yo, Shalom. All praise to the Most High. Yahuwah, Yahushua. This is Sounds from YYBY. Man, listen, man. Some people know about this, man, and there's some people that don't, man. But the thing is, I, I think people really sleeping on this tool, man. And and I'm a beast. I'm gonna get straight to the point. And what I'm talking about is this this tool. Where is that? Hold up. I got it in the wrong spot. Hold up. I think it's it's in the player. It's called the what a pre a, a, a pre gate a, a pre gate something like that music system. This thing is the toughest thing. This is the hard hardest arpeggiator out. I'm sorry, I have many arpeggiators. And, and and look, don't get me wrong. This joint right here, and in, 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 in reasons the old school, the original arpeggiator right here. Uh, where is that? I just passed it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What that thing at, man? Is it is it right here? Hold on, am I passing? Am I tripping? Where is that? These the effects. I think they right here. Here you go. It's in the wrong place. This right here is still dope. Don't get it twisted. But man, when you have a beat block, when you're in the, matter of fact, before I even explain this to y'all, first thing I want to say is this: always practice playing keys always learn to still be creative with your own keys you get what i'm saying and i mean like don't always focus on samples and this sample everything and 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 using devices like what i'm about to talk about just to create your own ideas like still all still go back to learning to play keys so you don't cheat yourself or learning to play an instrument where you can get on and play keys and play something original and still build your song around that. You get what I'm Period. Period. Forget what people saying. Still do that. Like me, I, like I say, I tell everybody. I got, I got, I, I got a, a way I make beats. I make an original beat, everything from the keys. No samples. No extra nothing. Then I do a sample type joint. You know, old school sample type joint. Then I do an R and B. Then I do different genres. But anyway, let's go. So I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna go right here. And uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just let it do what it do, man. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just let it do what it do. I'm gonna go get the. I'm gonna go get the clang tune instrument, right? Let me turn it down, so. I'm gonna go. Matter of fact, I might just. I'm gonna just keep that. I'm going to just keep that. I'm going to go get the tool. And we're just going to go through. I'm not doing anything extravagant. I'm not I'm not trying to do anything. I'm going to just drop it on there. And then I'm going to explain some of this stuff that I see that I think I understand. Because some things I do understand. But I'm, then I'm also going to tell you one of the dopest features that I do love on this simple, little, big a pigeon here, man. So let's play this. Let's play it back for what it got right now. And then on top of that, the reason why I got right here and then went back is because I got my joint set at nine bars, I think. So let me go to 16 and see what it do. I think it's playing a whole 16th joint. Hold up. Let's, let's see what it do right here. Listen, 
that just out the out the pack. Okay, it, now it got you know a few presets which you can play with, and you know yeah you can use these presets right, and you don't want to sound like everybody else. So I, I'm sure these presets play a certain you know just like what it's doing right now. It play a certain note, I guess. But this is the killer though. Like you can avoid all that, right? And before I get to that part, you got like the uh, the values. You got the scales. You could select the scales. You got the move. You got the uh, these random information right here. What I'm about to talk about later. Uh, split. You got to find out what each one of these do. You know these different. You got a different rhythms, the different notes, scale keys. And you also got the scratch pad, you know, that you can use, right? And so the dopest thing about this tool is that this button right here, the, the random. And when you select it, it just creates something. And when you have beat block, it's no way in the hell you can't come up with something, man. When people, like I say, when people say, yo, you can't create nothing, you know, it's, you know, the beat, the reason is not, you know, it don't have sounds, like, what? Like, let's play this back. And it's already going with the tempo. Then based on what you got to set right here on the one eighth, you can go to different notes. So if I go to one sixteen, check this out. Let's start it over. It's kind of off a little bit. Let's go to the random again. Let's play that back. Let me can move real quick because I got I got the tempo on 120. Let me slow it down. Go back. And the thing about it, even when you drop this, when you press the send to the track, right? Even when you drop the notes on your sequence, you still can go take certain notes out, MIDI out. Add certain MIDI in there. You have something totally different. Press random again. Let's press random again. Let's press it a few more times. Let's go do something crazy. Let's just. there real quick like you there's no reason how you can go beat block inside uh inside a reason man let's go back to it hold on let's go to random let's go to one eighth let's what i had it on one eighth let's try this real quick Kind of sound off. It's, just, it's linked to it. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me take that off. Not move. Let me move the. Value. I didn't read no instructions on this at all. You know, I'm just actually going off the brain. But a lot of these things is common. Like, you know, some things you can kind of get with, you know, the point of it. Because right here, it say. A, you know, companion, you turn it off. 
it takes certain notes out. You turn this one off, it takes the blue notes out. So as you can see, the blue notes is the or these, and the green notes is the green notes, and so on and so forth. Now you could change the, the numbers extension, so you can come up with create creative stuff again, like I always say in reason, and save it as a preset. But let's play something. Let's play this. Let's randomize that. Matter of fact, let's try a different instrument. Let's try a different instrument. Let's delete this. Let's go get a... Let's go get a horn, man. Let's type in a horn. We got so many horns in here. Put up the horns and everything. Excuse me. Let's get horns with wind. Let's try that. See what that is. Yeah. Trombones. I want to kill your ears. My bad. Apologies. It's this right here. Okay. Let's go to the horn section. What's this? That's a single horn right there. Sometimes you need single horns to put your own effect on it. That's the, my, uh... Let's try this, you know, let's see what it, what it do. Some inspiration, man. You never know what you might come up with. Never know what you might come up with. Let's play it again. Let's, go, let's, let's, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's go to 116. Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> You put it on the MIDI track, play this back. Let's randomize this. <laughs> Let's 
see what it randomized like I don't see nothing change when you, when you select it you know? I'm gonna have to play with this more to figure out these things you know check that out what that do <laughs> So you get crazy ideas. Sometimes you just gotta cut the melody off. That's that's when you cut the melody off. Let's cut this off and turn the melody off. That's uh, randomize that. And the thing is, when you randomize it, it still keep it off. man that's all I'm saying this inspiration you can't can't make this up man actually I'm gonna open up one that I came up with very quick just before I did this video I call it flowers and this is the this is the sample this is the uh the instrument that it came up with right here let's play this That's what it came up with, and what I did, I just I added I add the this instrument right here with the harp guitar, and I came up with this quick I did mess with the randomize, and I'm gonna just play back what I what I got. This is this is the it's like a skeleton right now. sound like one of those songs that be in the old movie Disorderlies or something but it could be a pop type joint but right now it's just a skeleton you know I don't I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna add to it because what I do I normally just come up with a, a intro verse hook and then I have that down once I get the the what I want what I want to be the hook once I get what I want to be the verse which is right here and then I start building around that once I start building around that and I play it back, play it back and it makes sense and it makes sense, you know, it start adding up. I start adding more stuff to it, more intros, more, you know, uh, rolling sounds that, you know, to, to give it that type of vibe and feel. And once I do that, then I start pasting it down based on if I wanted to be, a, you know, two verses or two hooks and such and such. And then, then I start building from that, adding and taking away, adding and taking away, trying to figure out like what make more sense. And when I first played this instrument, I said, this need to start first. And that's what I like about it. And what I did, I just got the same thing. I copied it down here and then I just took one out and I added the big strings to it. Inspirational, man. Simple. There's no way you can't come up with no music and reason.
yeah, this is YYBY. If you have any questions, hit me up.